Welcome back to my channel, everyone. This show is Red Fox. Come back with another episode of Let's Play Streets of Rogue. This will be the third episode. Oh, we're gonna go back to the home base, and we're gonna start off as player one again. One, oh, one player. <laughs> I don't know why I said that was player one. But anyway, so um, after kind of looking up a few tiny little things, I figured out with the mutators you can actually like change up what the uh, actual like uh game modes are like. Which I mean, I'm probably not gonna do with these right now. I'm gonna play a little bit of like you know normal stuff and just kind of like see what they've got going on. Um. So we're just gonna go right back to it. We're also we're gonna keep doing the slums, and I'm gonna try out a different uh, different character here. We see we got the um we end up having different things like the soldier, the gangster, the thief, the hacker, the doctor, and the gorilla, which we unlocked uh, here in the previous um, episode. So we also found out we can actually create characters. But to what I understand, like creating the characters, they sometimes don't have near as many traits or stats they're not near as good as the pre-approved ones all the time they kind of do it to where you can't just like metagame the heck out of the out of this so what i want to do here i think i want to go ahead and play one of these other characters here so let's see what we got here we got the soldier whose endurance i mean pretty much everything doesn't look to be much different he just looks to be a little bit stronger with firearms and melee than the um than the slum dweller which i can honestly understand exactly why um the traits obviously super studious gains extra xp jack of uh, oh Okay, I was about to say Jack of Extra Traits. Okay, so yeah, that was the um, pre, that was the first one. So, a potential to not suck at random stat. Uh, starting items is whiskey. Okay, so starting items. Okay, so really, he's the only one that gets really starting items out of these first couple. But So you have the Thief, which is going to be a little bit different. You also have the Hacker, the Doctor, and the Gorilla. Let's see. Okay, I want to check out the Soldier. I'm going to probably go down the line and just play him each as, um... Oh, never mind, he does have starting items. Wow. Machine Gun, Grenade, Door Detonator, Landmine. Kill, um, immunizer, combat helmet. Wow, big quest. Power struggle. Generators throughout the city provide successful power to the top four. Blow them all to hell. Okay. Well, um, make enough payments to secure status as an upper cluster. Okay. Oh, so this is the thing. They have big quests that each one of them has to make. Okay. Oh, that makes perfect sense. Okay. So here with the soldier, we have to blow up. Like, it's like big, like. The overarching mission is to destroy all the generators where the, um, the actual missions that give you stuff are these. So that's what these are. Okay. Operate all these and then neutralize the scientists. Okay. Perfectly fine. Understandable. So what we're going to do is we're going to go try and find... Oh, you can also place detonators to do that. Huh. Interesting. Okay. The machine gun's here. We'll do that. Door detonator will put there. As a reward for killing three people, your guns will receive ammunition to ensure that the cycle of violence continues. Okay, well that I know, so we don't really something like that there. Grenades are gonna be good three. Land might be four, and that's just a hard hat we have that already, so that's fine. Oh. And here's a security camera glass. Looked at that and saw that. Get close to the security camera so that way we can get to this one right here. Turtle, see me if the security camera does, so. Be a little bit uh, cautious here. I'm just gonna go throw cautious to the wind here. Ran out of time. Really? Huh? Oh, you only have a certain amount of time to do that. Oh, okay. Well, oh, well, I should have paid a little bit more attention to that, but okay. Um. Oh, there's probably a. There's probably a computer over here too. Arm that, which there was. Still on fire. Okay, so that's actually pretty cool. Like, I mean, there's a few little things here that they've this uh, game has already done that's pretty neat. So the fire, like, if dead enemies are on fire, it still hurts you, which I never would have thought of that. Honestly, that's pretty hilarious. So hold on, hold on. What we gotta do here? Oh, this guy's over there. It's office drone. Office, uh, clerk. Okay, I'm not too worried about that. Anyway. Okay. 
Bulletproof vest. Okay. Wow. Interesting. Hmm. Is it worth it? I guess so. As long as I can't, as long as I don't just keep killing myself, but yeah. So what we need to do now is we probably need to just go and worry about Got some more stuff up here. See, that's the thing. I'm a, I'm just a loot guy. Like, I'll, <laughs> the loot just kind of gets me, just draws me in. There we go. Sweet, and we got a little bit of ammo. See, okay, so it does refuel ammo after a little bit. Increases firearms. Accuracy, okay, that's pretty cool. I'll say. Wow, I punched him through the, through the desk that he was sitting on. That's pretty hilarious. Okay, so gotta neutralize this guy right here. Just complete, got that guy, got the lock. And the floor is cleared, that's good too. So he's just gonna... Wow, oh, terrible aim on my part. It's all about timing, really, when it comes to the punches, it looks like. It's just all timing. Okay, take the FUD. Oh, and there goes the, uh, the gorillas. Side. Nice. All right, and it looks like we should be able to get everything. Oh, oh there's another. Uh... Oh, he went invisible. What the heck? Huh? Was not expecting him to be invisible, but okay. Alrighty, well that threw me for a loop. That guy just like went invisible and scared the heck out of me. Hmm. So, yeah, so we've learned a few different things here. Enemies can go invisible. Don't know why, don't know how. That's, uh, hmm. Grenades are actually pretty helpful too to what, I, to what I've uh, noticed as well. Shopkeeper. Stringers are identified. Backstabber, graceful. That's what's not triggered. Yeah, let's do that. That's actually pretty good. Not getting poisoned from stepping on a floor trap would be really, really helpful right now. Okay, so we've only got one grenade left, so there. That is one thing to be cautious about. We can't just be throwing caution to the wind here. That guy's asleep, so we'll just, uh. Taking a gamble here and seeing if I can't get anything out of that uh, refrigerator for HP for later. Uh, hello, good sir. Have you lost your mind? You're ravaging my. <laughs> that is something to be screaming out to the public. You are ravaging my body. Hmm. I might not want to yell that out too loud. People might get the wrong idea. So it looks like floor two is not going to be too bad. Let's see. Okay, so right now we got to rescue the, sl the slum dweller right here. We got to um, neutralize the, the purple objective right here and then break out of prison. Hmm. Okay. Let's check out here. Uh, break out, break out, break out. Okay. That was pretty easy. Okay, we're also going to do this right here. We're gonna throw this grenade in here. Let's 
Slave Master, wow, that's something I wasn't expecting to see. It's a little dark. Oh shoot. Oh wow, Slave Master. Shotgun, okay. Just got a ton of uh, weapons right there, so I should not be short on weapons at all. Okay, so. Gangster, gangster, gangster. All oh, a bunch of blods, okay. So let's see what we got here. We got plenty of stuff to work with. Um, first of all, we have an axe, which is a good melee for later. Sword, which is not a good melee. That, which would be a good melee. Got a shotgun here. We also have that right there. Okay. Let's go ahead and save the machine gun. We're going to try to like recoup some ammo for that one as we go along here. Um, okay. So we're going to just try to heal up a little bit. That's a shopkeeper. Don't really need anything from here. Um, we're going to just keep looking to see if we can't find any more generators for the uh, overarching mission here for this guy. Um, nothing up there doesn't look like. No. I'm going to try to scour pretty much all of this uh, floor here. Kind of just ran through this floor pretty easily. The soldier is like a huge up from the from the other guy, from the, uh, the slum dweller. Slum dweller, you actually feel like you have to be somewhat cautious of what's going on, but as far as, like, the soldier, no, not at all. Uh, I hate having just a break in here, but whatever. guys later. Won't take me to the exit, so I gotta take this guy to the exit real fast. We'll do that first. Get him out of here. Come on here, buddy. Get on out of here. Got that. The floor is cleared. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of search around and see if we can't find uh, any more of those generators. Obviously, there's probably one or two more at least because we've only searched like maybe a th we've only looked at like a little bit of the floor itself really uh, that is a uh, safe right there we'll go check that out for sure Take it. More body armor, which is good. Um, I'm right, gonna go with the knife next. Or the knife will probably be an easier uh, for earlier on. Body armor. Wow, I'm just absolutely just running through this. Clone machine. Don't think I need a clone, but okay. Fair enough. Teach their own, I guess. Um, so we kind of went up this way. Already got that. So we'll go up here and see if there's anything inside this big building. This one was kind of like what I just ran by. Maybe going to escort that guy. So I have a feeling there might be something there. See, there's a safe right there. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Wow, this is a really big room here. It's just a big building. What the heck? It's bigger than the other ones I went through. Okay. 
who that? Full. Okay. Well, that was easy. Okay. Police baton. Let's try to get rid of that right there. Thank you for that, I guess. Old computer. Wait, just, oh, well, never mind. I guess we're just out of here then. Nope, not today. All right, so it looks like that's gonna be the end of this floor. We pretty much did it. this thing 100%. I feel like. Um, I feel like it was pretty easy. Like this is definitely like the soldiers, without a doubt, easier than the slum dweller. Um, Floor overall was easy. Uh, speed, don't need that. Infectious gain extra HP. Why not? We'll do that. Anything a little bit easier with like people shooting enemies will be worth it. Um, okay, slums, three go. Dead or restless, it's zombie time. Okay, so apparently on the third floors, it looks like there's always going to be something like crazy. Okay, so first of all, we have a um, destroy the generator here, and then retrieve this from the top up there. So, we're going to check all the stuff over here to the left first. So we're going to go through the left side. Um, looks like the zombies are going to be the main issue here. Oh, that's great. Oh, they come back as zombies too, okay. It looks like when you kill them, you're gonna have to just try to blow up their bodies too. This is just a, uh, a fiesta right here. Kill the, we at least blow up the, the generator at least. Strength, nice. And weak. Okay, so I went straight from the weak. Okay, um, wow. That, that kind of like threw me off there a little bit, but that's okay. at this building first, I feel like. Uh, I think we just go from this way on, and we'll just work our way.
Okay. We do have a rock here, so we can use that for the, um... Sorry, I was actually really quiet there for, like, a long time. Okay, go down here and go to this, uh, this chest. Go up this way. Hack the computer. I don't think there's really gonna be anything worth hacking here. Uh, okay, yeah. So we already gotten everything. That's good. Um, retrieve this item here, then we'll be done with this floor for the most part. Uh, there's a sword right here. I'll definitely take that. I'm just checking to make sure there's nothing up here. Oh, wow. Just take as many melee weapons for this as you can, it seems like, because man, they're just all over the place with this. Okay, so that looks like that is all the generators that I can find. I need to go take this, this little blue thing here. Oh man, I'm blind. I didn't even like notice that guy for a second there, Jesus. And the zombies just keep coming too, like it's not like they ever stop, like they just are continuous. Bro, music from the road, Miguel. Let's get out of here. Don't know why I even freed that guy. I just felt like you know it was just something to do right there. Um. Anyway, so now we got. Oh, we got some more right here. Take that. Um, let's go break into this room right here. Clerk. Thank you very much. The thing is with this guy, you got. Your Make sure with these guys you just have to make sure that you keep on um, uh, getting weapons here so you can keep recycling through them. I mean just not recycling, just keep cycling through them. Each time you go through one you'll use up enough ammo to where you'll have to switch to another weapon, but because you have other guns you can just switch to that one and the, you can keep refilling ammo, you'll never really run out. You'll have to just be stupid, um, you have to be stupid like uh, bad with aiming and wasteful of your ammo in order to waste it all. But anyway, we're out of this floor. First time we're going to level 4, so let's do that. Mutator unlocked. Character unlocked. Cannibal. Okay. Uh, GPS, backstabber. I'm just going to cost less. Let's deal with that. Let's go with the, uh, the backstabber so we can do a little bit more damage. Oh, floor 2 of 1. Okay, wow. We're just going through this thing. Industrial 1. So we're out of the slums. Hold on. Need to neutralize some of these guys right here and then operate these guys right here.
okay, I guess. Slime barrel. Oh, the slime barrel's catching on fire. Okay. Well, I think that's what's catching on fire anyway. Heck, I don't know. So apparently you just keep on going through the floors and through the different levels, like, as you go up, so that's pretty cool. I guess I probably should have. Probably would have been a little bit better if I would have anyway. Hmm. I don't know, it looks like a vent right there, which I have never seen that before. At least I haven't noticed it before, so. Oh shoot. Good last second aiming right there, I tell you what. Cause I could have totally screwed the pooch on that one. Okay, got a lot of gold here. Let me see, actually how much do I have? I have 363, that's not bad. Let's uh... Let's see if we can take a few more of these fights a little bit easier. Oh my goodness, come on. Oh, I died. Wow. Oh, come on. Wow, he just swung and like jumped like across the screen. Huh. That's interesting. Well, anyway, fellas, that's going to be it for this episode. This one went a little bit longer. I didn't realize that this game could go on for as long as it did. So maybe I'll have to like learn to kind of speed up a few things. Because, man, that was uh, that was pretty nutty. But anyway, death by baseball bat. For all things to die from on this run. But anyway, we found out the soldier's a little bit stronger than the slum dweller. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode, if you did, please drop a like in the section below. If you want to see more in the future, please subscribe to my channel. It helps out a lot. It means a great deal. And again, guys, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see all of you next time. Bye-bye.